Good morning. Uh, I'm here to present the project uh, GAMS. Uh, GAMS stands for Galileo GNSS Autonomous Mobile Mapping System. Uh, it's a project um, that started in July 2021 for um, uh, 30 months and it's funded by, uh, by USPA. It's a consortium of uh, seven companies and one university. Um, the, the goal of the project is to, we, we, we envision uh, the use of HD maps, high definition, high definition maps of, of the roads to, to be used um, by uh, autonomous vehicle manufacturer and also by public infrastructure management uh, like uh, highways. Uh, and for that, we, we, we aim at developing a prototype of uh, autonomous mobile mapping using an autonomous vehicle with a mobile mapping system on top of it and a new GNSS receiver so we can uh, collect all the geodata possible and then we post-process all this data to produce uh, HD maps at uh, high definition and low cost. Our motto is uh, robots mapping for robots because we, we aim at uh, um, producing HD maps for autonomous vehicle with using a, an autonomous vehicle. So the main of offering for, of GAMS is uh, HD base maps with a high accuracy and uh, high reliability. We, we want al also to to move uh, forward in, in the certification of these uh, HD maps and uh, all of this uh, in real time. And also we, we aim at uh, uh, offering uh, uh, an enhanced uh, uh, autonomous vehicle, uh, more secure and uh, with a better positioning uh, using our HD maps. And um, we uh, want to use, uh, we are using uh, new Galileo features with a high accuracy service and uh, also um, the anti spoofing uh, new service. And uh, all of this for uh, a better tra trajectory and, uh, and uh, also for road quality assessment. The value proposition of uh, GAMS is. Uh, um, developing an autonomous mobile mapping system uh, with um, high accuracy and, uh, and at a low cost because we aim at reducing uh, um, uh, the crews uh, for driving, of course, using autonomous vehicle, but also for the, the mobile mapping system crew, we, we want to reduce uh, uh, the use of uh, operators. And also, uh, because of our better uh, accuracy, we, we aim at using less um, ground control points and uh, of course the post-processing with uh, all the um, extraction of data and classification of data, we use uh, artificial intelligence so, so we can have a, a, a reduced cost. Now I'm going to present the different uh, technologies that uh, we gather uh, it's a mix of uh, different technologies that we gather in GAMS uh, to, to develop uh, this prototype. So uh, our first partner is uh, Deimos, and uh, they, they, um, they are developing a new GNSS receiver using uh, Galileo new features, uh, which are um, high accuracy service, and also the, the open service navigation message authentication uh, for better anti-spoofing anti strategies. Uh, we are using uh, the new E6 band to uh, exploit all this data uh, for these new services. Another partner is uh, EPFL, University uh, of Lausanne in Switzerland. They are developing a, a vehicle dynamic model um, which helps to, to bring a tremendous improvement in trajectory determination, and especially uh, when we are in GNSS uh, outage, like uh, urban canyons. Another technology uh, in our project uh, by our partner Geonumerics is um, the trajectory estimation uh, using uh, multi-sensor uh, navigation uh, so we, 
we analyze all the different input uh, data uh, from uh, Genesis navigation, the point cloud, the point cloud information from uh, our mobile mapping system, uh, the high accuracy service from Galileo, uh, other Genesis information also, uh, the IMU uh, data, also odometer, uh, chip scale atomic clock, uh, the vehicle dynamic models uh, that I talked about uh, just before, and also visual features for camera images. All of these data are gathered to, um, to, uh, for, for multi-sensor uh, appreciation and statistical uh, algorithm to, have, uh, to improve the precision, the accuracy, uh, and the integrity of the data. And also, of course, the, the goal of the project is to, to collect the data and then to produce uh, the HD maps. HD maps for, for autonomous vehicle industry to be used uh, on boards of, uh, of autonomous vehicle. Uh, so we can, we can see here uh, an example of uh, uh, HD maps where we identify, classify all the road objects uh, to be interpreted uh, directly by uh, onboard systems. So how do we uh, develop uh, HD maps? The workflow is as follows. There is a data collection from mobile mapping system, and then it, uh, it's consolidated by a trajectory um, estimation. Uh, and then we use uh, the LiDAR data and image data to, object, uh, to extract uh, uh, all the objects uh, on the road and uh, classify uh, uh, the classification of, the, of these objects and the vectorization of these objects. And then we, we import uh, it into a database to output to the, to the format uh, that uh, is specified by, uh, by the end user. So here is a, a quick example of uh, objects uh, on the road that we extract and classify. Uh, we have uh, road markers, uh, uh, of course, like uh, lane lines. Uh, and uh, we have also road edges, road markings, uh, traffic signs, traffic lights, tunnel boundaries. But also, we can include uh, virtual objects like uh, lane linkage, road linkage, or any intersection information uh, that we can use. So that's it for the presentation of uh, GAMS project. Um, you can follow us on uh, the different uh, uh, social uh, group. And uh, do you have any questions?